Hi students, as a part of corrosion, corrosion controlling methods, today I am going to discuss with you about one of the corrosion controlling method that is metal cladding or OR cathodic coating. So, first and foremost, let us discuss why this particular method is called as metal cladding. So, what do you mean by cladding students? Cladding is nothing but Coating the metal on the surface of any material is called as metal cladding. And this particular method of uh, avoiding or preventing the corrosion of the metal is also called as cathodic coating. The reason is whatever the coating metal which is being uh, coated on the surface of the base metal is cathodic with respect to the base metal. Right. Cathodic with respect to the base metal. That is, whatever, we are, whatever the metal which we are going to coat uh, to avoid or prevent the corrosion of the metal is cathodic with respect to the base metal. Now, what is the base metal? Base metal is the metal whose corrosion is going to be avoided or prevented. Now, this particular method of corrosion controlling is just like the sandwich preparation. Sandwich preparation. So, how will you prepare the sandwich? So, for preparing the sandwich, what we will do is we will place a salad or we will place any curry in between the two bread slices. In between the two bread slices. Let us say that this is one bread slice and this is another bread slice. And this is the curry or the salad which is being uh, placed in between these two slides of uh, the bread. So this particular method is just like, uh, just like the sandwiching. Are just like the sandwich preparation only. The only difference between the sandwich preparation and this metal cladding is we will uh, exert the pressure on the surface of uh, the coating metal which is present at the top of the at the top of the base metal. At the top of the base metal. So in the case of hot dipping, whether it is the galvanization or the gymning, what we are doing, just we are dipping or immersing the, our base metal into either the uh, zinc, hot molten zinc metal or hot molten tin metal, by which a layer of either the zinc in the case of galvanization or a layer of uh, the tin in the case of the tinning process is being developed. But whatever the layer which is going to be developed on the surface of uh, the base metal, base metal in the case of galvanizing, galvanization and tinning is just around 0.02 mm thickness. So thickness of uh, that particular uh, coating metal on the surface of the base metal in the hot dipping process, which is one of the corrosion controlling method is very, very less. Because what we are doing in that just, uh, we are taking the base metal and we are dipping either in the hot molten zinc metal or we are dipping in the hot molten tin metal. Other than that, we are not doing anything. But here, what we will do is, what we will do is, let us say that this is the base metal. So base metal, at the top, at the top, uh, the coating metal is being coated. At the bottom, also the coating metal is being coated or placed. And during this metal cladding uh, process of corrosion control method, so cathodic substances, cathodic metals are being used as the cladding agents. So cathodic substances like the nickel, copper, platinum, right, and their alloys are being used as the cladding agents. Cladding agents means the coating substance in this particular metal cladding process of 
controlling the corrosion. Right. So now the base metal is placed in between uh, the two cathodes, in between the two cathodes, the same cathode or the different cathode. And what we need to do is we have to exert the pressure on it. When we exert the pressure on it, what happens here, students? So we are exerting the pressure from the top as well as from the bottom. When we are exerting the pressure from the top as well as at the bottom, which is that in, in which the base metal is in between the two cladding metals, so definitely a dense film is going to be formed. Dense homogeneous film is going to be formed. But in the case of uh, the hot dipping, what we are doing, just we are dipping the coating metal, the base metal in the hot molten coating metal and just we are removing. Now whatever the thickness of coating metal which is uh, being coated on the surface of the base metal in the case of hot dipping is around 0 0.002 mm. But here the thickness is more. Because it is being sandwiched, the base metal is sandwiched between the coating metal at the top and at the bottom. And we are rolling it with the help of the rollers. So since we are rolling it with the help of the rollers, a homogeneous dense layer of the coating metal is going to be formed during this particular metal cladding or cathodic coating process. So do remember students, during the hot dipping process, so both, that is hot dipping process, metal cladding process, both are used for, 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 for controlling the corrosion of the metal only. But whatever uh, the, whatever the, the, whatever the coating which is done on the surface of the base metal in the case of hot dipping is uh, less thick when compared to the coating metal which is being coated on the base metal during the metal cladding because it is sandwiched and it is being rolled from the top as well as from the bottom. So this particular this particular uh, metal cladding uh, is utilizing the coating metals such as copper, nickel, platinum and their alloys. So now all these cladding agents how all these coating metals which are being used to during this metal cladding are uh, expensive. So since uh, these cladding agents or uh, the coating metals uh, which are being used in the metal cladding process are expensive, this particular metal cladding method is too expensive. So since this particular method is too expensive, this particular method is being used to manufacture the expensive parts only. So that is the reason this particular metal cladding method is being used in the aircraft industry in order to manufacture the aircraft parts. So in order to manufacture the aircraft, aircraft means or aeroplanes. So for uh, manufacturing the aeroplane parts, uh, this particular uh, metal cladding is being used. So in the manufacturing of the air, air, aircraft parts or aeroplane parts, the base metal is duralumin. The base metal is duralumin. The base metal is duralumin. And duralumin is an alloy of 95%. Uh, 95% aluminium, 4% copper, and the remaining amount is magnesium iron manganese. So, duralumin is the base metal. So, duralumin is the base metal. Now, in the case of uh, the metal cladding, uh, that is in the aircraft industry, during the manufacturing of uh, the aeroplane parts, what uh, the manufacturers will do is, so they will take uh, the duralumin as the base metal and at the top they will place the aluminium, 
at the bottom of the duralumin they will place the aluminium now the duralumin which is an alloy of 95% aluminium 4% copper and remaining amount magnesium and manganese is sandwiched is sandwiched between the, the aluminium from the top and the bottom now after sandwiching the base metal which is needed for manufacturing the aeroplane parts in the aircraft industry between the aluminium what they will do is with the help of uh, the rollers they will roll it mechanically so when they roll it mechanically now from the uh, top of uh, the duralumin the aluminium port is developed from the bottom of the duralumin aluminium port is developed since from the top of the base metal coating metal is developed from the bottom of the base metal base metal coating metal is developed homogeneous dense homogeneous dense layer of uh, dense layer is being formed on the surface of the base metal homogeneous dense layer of uh, coating metal in this case aluminium is being formed on the surface of uh, the duralumin now finally so whenever the sandwich is being done uh, then we are going to get the uh, all clad sheet so this is nothing but all clad sheet all clad sheet al stands for aluminium cla stands for cladding aluminium cladded sheet so this aluminium cladded sheet is used for manufacturing the aeroplane parts or aircraft parts in the aircraft industry so the basic difference between between the hot dipping and metal cladding is in the case of hot dipping as a just the coating metal is dipped inside the hot molten metal thin layer of coating metal is being formed on the surface of the base metal whereas in the case of metal cladding as the base metal is sandwiched between between the two coating metals with well, they can be the same coating metals or another coating metals also. But in the case of uh, the preparation of aluminium cladding sheets, uh, the duralumin is the base metal which is being placed uh, between uh, the aluminium at the top and aluminium at the bottom. And uh, in this case, a homogeneous dense layer of uh, the coating metal is. Uh, being developed on the surface of the base metal which will not allow the corrosion of uh, the base metal at all at all in the sense it will be long lasting so that is the reason it is being used in aircraft industries and uh, why this particular when this particular metal cladding is not allowing the corrosion of uh, the base metal uh, for so many years as the durability is more why we are not only going with this particular metal cladding rather we are going with the hot dipping that is galvanization and thinning also the reason is this particular metal cladding involves the coating metals such as such as nickel copper platinum platinum iron their alloys as the coating metals or cladding agents and these metals like nickel, copper, platinum are too expensive so that is the reason this particular overall process is too expensive so that is the reason this particular method is especially or exclusively used for manufacturing the exclusively used for manufacturing the expensive parts only so that is the reason it is being used in the aircraft industry for manufacturing the alclad sheet which is the composite or sandwich which is being developed by sandwiching the duralumin alloy between two aluminium sheets. I hope you understood.